Welcome to another episode of Eating with Elizabeth. Cream puffs. Okay, this is the most important recipe of all the recipes. These are the cream puffs. My mom makes the best cream puffs. You know, you hear about cream puffs and you see them in restaurants, you see them in bakeries. They're not going to taste like these. I remember Regis and Kelly had cream puffs on the show. Gelman brought them in and Regis and Kelly were going to taste the cream puffs and she cooked up this giant cream puff and yeah, it looked good, but I know it didn't have this cream. It didn't taste like this and I wished I could have sent her some of mom's. The way to eat the cream puff for me, it's unbelievable. I take off the top, got to take the top off. And then you see the bottom of the um, wrapper? filled with all the powdered sugar. You dip the top <laughs> in the powdered sugar. When I'm with some company sometimes, I see that their powdered sugar packages are left, and I'm like, excuse me, you're not working your plate right. You gotta eat the powdered sugar. So delicious, so delicious. Mm. Oh my God. That is so delicious. It brings back so many memories. My childhood, my mom always had leftover cream. And all us kids used to fight over the cream. Oh, it was so good. Of course, it's made with heavy cream. Um, it's rich. This is a rich dessert. I remember in my 320 pound body, I would go to my mom. She'd be having a dinner party and this cream puffs were snuck in the refrigerator, saving for dessert. And here we were, just about to eat dinner, and I would go in that refrigerator and sneak out one, two, three of these before dinner. Then I would sit down at the table, everybody sat, gathered around for dinner, and my belly was full. I was full. My mind was giving me such guilt. I knew that I shouldn't eat back then because I was full. And then I sat there with so much, oh, just torture in my head, having to deal with the fact that I'm about to eat dinner, and I'm already full because I already had cream puffs. You know, there's no way I can eat now. But did I eat in my 320 pound body? Yeah, I ate. Ate a lot. And then, of course, I always saved room for cream puffs. I don't know how I breathed <laughs> back then. I was so stuffed out of my mind on those dinners. Now I go and I, I'm hungry when I start. I save room for the cream puff if I choose to have one. And it's an amazing difference from the 320 pound girl to, to me now being able to savor and enjoy every bite that I take. I hope you guys are doing this along with me out there. See you again soon on another episode of Eating with Elizabeth. Peace to you and yours.